Within WordPress, when adding a post or a page, you get the option to use either plain text or what's known as a WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. Now where this isn't exactly true, it is like using a word processor. So we're gonna take you through, we're gonna go into our posts and we're gonna edit our post and we're gonna show you the WYSIWYG editor for WordPress. So here we are within our blog post. Uh, I've blown this up so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. So this is what we call the WYSIWYG editor. As you can see, you've got the option to see it visual or the option to see text. If we change it to text, you will see code because there are items of the blog post in there that will show as code and we don't want to confuse you so we're going to leave this bit and we suggest that if you don't understand this bit you leave it alone as well we click back to visual and you can see we have our blog post that we created with our dummy text and our image here you can see the add media button which we already covered if we highlight some text simply click the mouse and highlight the text you can see here we have a bold button and the text goes bold. We have an italic button, which makes the text italic. We have a strike through button, which strikes through the text. We also, as with any word processing system, have the ability to add an unordered list with bullet points, an ordered list with numbers. We also have the ability to add block quotes, where you can select an area of text and add quote marks around it. We have the ability to left align, center, or right align our text. We're gonna keep it left aligned. We have the ability to add a link to the website. So we can say here, allensvintagebooks.co.uk, and we can simply give that a link there and give it a title so that the search engines know where it links to. We can say we want to open it in a new tab or a new window. You also have the ability, if you click on this or link to existing content, it will show you all the blog posts and all of the pages on your website so that you can click on them and it will automatically link over to them. We're just going to link back to Alan's homepage and we're going to click add link. And as you can see, the text has turned blue and that now will link over to his website when we publish the post. If we highlight this again, we also have the ability to remove that link. So if we click here, that will remove the link. If we want to show the first paragraph of our text, but we want people to click to see more of it, there's the ability to add the more, what's called the more tag here. So we can simply go here and we'll select there and we're going to click on the insert more tag and you can see that it inserts a line that says more this will mean that people need to click on this in order to see the rest of the post personally I don't like these so I'm going to remove that and we're going to keep our text as it is we have the ability to spell check and you can spell check in a number of different languages we're going to stick with English you have the ability to write distraction free. Now, if we click on here, this will take away everything and it will give us just the screen with the visuals on it so that you can type without seeing any of the other items around your WordPress dashboard or system. If we click exit full screen, this takes us back. We have a, a button on the end here, which says show hide the kitchen sink. If you've only got one line of icons, if you click this icon, it will show you even more options that you can have. For example, if we highlight some more text, we can underline. We can change our text so that it fits fully across the screen on every line is lined up. We can change the color of text so we can make certain areas different colors. You have the ability to paste in as plain text. Now, if you're using a notepad or something along those lines to edit, and you have just plain text, 
If you click here, it will give you a box and it will explain to you that using Control V on your keyboard or Command V if you're using a Mac, you can paste this text directly into the post here. A similar thing, a lot of people use Word to type their posts before they actually decide they want to publish them. By clicking here, you can paste in your Word document and it will strip out the extra formatting that Word puts in. In many cases, using Word to write and then paste directly into WordPress brings over a lot of code that Microsoft put into the Word system. Unfortunately, this can play havoc with the design and layout within your post. So it's advisable that you use this section and it will strip out any of the code that you have put in. It will mean that you need to go through and do a little bit of formatting, but you should do this when you check through your post before publishing anyway. We have the ability to remove our formatting from certain areas. So for example, if we highlight this little bit here and click there you can see it's removed the red text that we put in earlier you have the ability to insert custom characters as you can see here we have a number available using this particular font you can indent further over to the right as you can see here we've put a gap in here or you can indent back over to the left you have one of the favorite tools in any system whatsoever which is to undo the last move that you did so if you accidentally delete some text you have the ability to undo and replace that text alternatively if you undo and you didn't mean to undo you have a redo button most of all you have the help button the help edit the help on editor will give you information on all the different aspects on what you can use and how you can use it. This is how to use the WYSIWYG editor within the WordPress system.